Good morning from Georgia, everybody. The sun is out. It's a beautiful morning, and I'm in a t-shirt here. I alluded in my last video to some news um, that I wanted to share with you guys. I will share that with you in about 60 seconds, so bear with me. First of all, I want to show you this interesting place here that I camped at overnight, and I'm heading out this morning. But this is another WMA 14-day uh, free camping area here in Georgia. There's a lot of them. $350 for three nights, and I think $19 annually. Uh, but the part that I don't understand about this place is that nobody ever showed up. There's a tent camper right there. There's three different trailers with no vehicles, lawn chairs out. Um, I'm wondering if this is some kind of like uh, a, a, a base for like hunters, basically. And maybe they're gone for days and days at a time, but this is where their base is. So uh, it was really, really quiet out here. But there just wasn't anything else to look at. There's no trails, there's no water. so. Really primitive, dispersed camping, but it was fine for me. I liked it a lot. And as for what is going on, um, just gonna roller coaster through it and then give you guys some chance to digest everything, and then we'll be able to move on past this in the next video. So I have decided uh, to head west for several reasons. One, I wanna get my tooth fixed, and I think I'm gonna do that in Mexico on the way. Uh, also, hanging out with Kevin and Felix and some other people has, has reminded me what fun it is to hang out with other people. So uh, there is a thing going on in Arizona in January that I'm aiming for. I'm not in any hurry. It'll be my normal 31 miles a day to cover about 2,400 miles by then. And if you think you know the route I'm going, no, you're, you don't know. I'm not even going to tell you, but it's going to be brand new up until the end, obviously. Uh, a brand new route, brand new experiences, uh, as we still try to stay kind of south for temperatures, obviously. But we're gonna take this show on the road and uh, we'll be back to Florida another time. Okay, that wasn't so bad, right? All right, let's get on the road. Good boy. Jax, man, you about ready to go places? We shall go west now, Jax, if you approve. Okay, you approve? I think he's pretty content with that idea. Cool beans, here we go. I forgot to hide the cookies. They probably saw that, Jax. Actually, those are mint green Oreos, so I am eating my greens. That is right. You know, the RV is running really well, guys, besides the uh, warped drum, again, issue that's going on. And uh, it's on heavy braking, not normal in-town braking, but any speeds over 35 mile an hour trying to brake still rumbles. And the RV still stops fine, so, you know, I'm not even, I'm not even grumpy about the issue. It's just, uh, it's kind of an inconvenience. Other than that, I'm good. All right, sunshine, come on back out. It's gonna be hit and miss today with the clouds. I am here in Columbus, Georgia, here in uh, West Georgia, and I got the scooter ready to go. So I'm gonna keep the RV here all secured and scoot around and go play. A little chilly riding the scooter here this time of year, hence the jacket back to long jeans. But uh, once I park it and get out, it's fine. It's, it almost feels like 70 degrees, but weird. This uh, antique store has a T-Rex on the roof, all sorts of metal carvings. And it says Lunchbox Museum, which intrigues me. I know it's a museum, but it might be interesting. Let's check it out. Well, I believe they have uh, Coca-Cola stuff here, guys. Ooh, RC Cola clock, that's cool. Oh boy. So they just moved uh, back into this location. They were here before and they, they haven't finished setting up. This is their movie room in here. They have a lunchbox museum. It's five bucks to get in. Do you guys remember these? Oh. All right, not quite sure what this is exactly. It's like an old bumper car with lights and stuff. And it looks like cassette tape functions on top. Although I don't see where you put the cassette. Oh yeah, the Kool-Aid <laughs> lunchbox. Wall to wall lunchboxes everywhere. Pigs in space, whoa. Flintstones, Knight Rider. There's a Dukes of Hazard and Pac-Man up there. Super Sounds, a record player? <laughs> Interesting. 
And these ones are definitely older. Return of the Jedi, Star Wars, Empire Stripes Back. I mean, wow. And unlike the museum in here, nothing is for sale in here, obviously. It's quite a collection. I mean, they could afford to sell some, like a three of these. Yeah, they could. <laughs> no date on this one, but it's a Walt Disney World cup. Probably 60s or 70s. Oh, I see peanuts. And here's the matching uh, tin lunchbox that matches that cup from Disney World. Definitely a lot to take in. I highly recommend a stop here. As much as I love that bumper car tape player radio, uh, if the tape part doesn't work and I can't tell what it needs, just not going to pull the trigger at 75 right now. But that's a cool spot. You got to check out tin lunch boxes at least. Okay, so why did I stop here at the Linwood Cemetery here in Georgia? Well, somebody is buried here that I want to share with you. Except there's no like directory, like who's buried where, but how am I going to find this guy? Well, I just spent a good hour walking around this ginormous cemetery. This is one of the oldest places in the city of Columbus, Georgia, actually here. And uh, then I remembered that I have a scooter that I could just ride around and look. And that worked out really well because out of all these grave sites, nothing really makes them stick out except for this one right here with a few Coca-Cola bottles in front of it. So Dr. Lewis Pemberton uh, was the original inventor of the Coca-Cola formula. I have been to so many places in this country that I forgot, but do you guys remember, or does anybody remember where I was at like a year or so ago and there was the actual place? Like I physically went to the place where he invented it. This is his grave site because Columbus, Georgia is where his home was and that's where he's been buried as you see. If that doctor knew how big his formula would get. And those of you who know me well know I'm, I'm a Coke guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never cared for Pepsi. Uh, absolutely am not very brand loyal to very many things out there. Usually it's just going to be the cheapest, but when it comes to soda, and I drink about one Coke a day now. I, I love Coke. You know, back then it may have been a lot of money, but Dr. Pemberton sold his formula to Coca-Cola for 1750 bucks back then. And he passed away and was buried here in 1888 quite some time ago, just to give you an idea how old this cemetery is. And there you go, Coca-Cola. So I am pulling up my Where Am I app uh, for the world. I'm gonna do something really special for you guys. I'm gonna grab the GPS locations of where I'm standing right here so that if you guys are in this city, you won't have to go all around this cemetery. You can just come right to the little dot that I'm gonna pin in the video description below, plug that into your navigation of choice, and you can visit all these places that I go to, guys. And basically just end at the very back of the cemetery where the, the fence line is and there's a pediatric clinic right there. That's a little access road right there and that'll get you right here. So it's noon here, I'm a little hungry and a viewer of mine, Jonathan, uh, recommended I go get some uh, lunch here. I like the Airstream barbecue there. He's from uh, Phoenix City, a stone's throw uh, over into the state of Alabama actually, but he comes over here on the weekend and uh, eats here. So we're gonna go check it out. So Country's Broad Barbecue. Oh my, this isn't a way to get you in. Check out the old Greyhound bus here. That's cool. It's not going anywhere. It's been sitting here for a while permanent, but that's cool. So it's definitely a quirky place. Look at this. It smells good. Check this out. You can eat inside the bus. Look how they did all the stainless steel in here. This is that bus I just showed you with seating. <laughs> what a neat surprise. Here's the driver's seat up there. I like this experience, so we'll look through their menu here. Oh yeah, it looks like you were enjoying it up here. Yeah, uh, can I get a Coke to get started? Yes, sir. And um, if I were to get the barbecue chicken platter to one of my sides, feed those uh, sweet potato chips? We don't do that as a side. Okay, well I need some of those anyway though. Okay. What are my side options for this one? Um, we have 
with the platter, you get two sides, so you can get any two of these, and we also have the corn casserole for us all today. Oh, nice. And for the sweet chips, did you want ranch or blue cheese? So these are those baked potato chips here, and uh, hot, medium, and mild. We're definitely going with the mild. Hmm. Other way around. Hot, medium, mild. <coughs> All right, the food has arrived. I just found out also this entire restaurant was built or was converted from an actual bus station. So back whenever this was a bus station, now it's a restaurant, and I think it's cool that they left the bus as part of the restaurant don't mean to make you guys drool, but here's some Georgia barbecue chicken and beans, cornbread. Second best barbecue I've had in the last year. Only second behind, I think it was the Stack barbecue in um, Missouri, the one Robert took me to. This is pretty good. So I gotta highly recommend this spot for you guys. If you're here in East Georgia and the sun's out, woohoo! I'm at the river walk here on the Georgia side but this bridge separates Georgia from Alabama. So where I'm standing, I'm in the state of Georgia, and you walk over this bridge, go to the other side of the Chattahoochee River there, and you'll be in Alabama. So although I'm sad to be leaving the state of Georgia, uh, I got a lot out of it this trip, and I think it's a beautiful place, somewhere I could call a second home even, that, that much. Uh, but yeah, I want to get back to the RV and do a couple things, check in on Jax. So I'll scoot on back to my home base there on the blacktop boondock spot. I'm going to get back to you. Jax, man, how you doing? Did you miss me? You want to hang out for the afternoon? Anyway, I got Jack something. He's riding up front in style. I hope you don't spend all your daytime up there too. I mean, I know it's comfy. Maybe I'll move it back here next to me. <laughs> Glad you like it, dude. And that's it. I'm sorry the video was so long. There was a lot going on today. I had a fantastic day. And in our next video, we'll be heading on over into Alabama. So we'll see you in a couple days, guys. Bye-bye.